Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at debugging in Python. Alright, let's get going. So here I am, writing a Python program, I'm doing it wrong, I'm typing print instead of print, I'm not typing what I'm supposed to be typing, and when I run it, I get this error on the right side, name error, and my program doesn't work. This is what's called a bug. According to Wikipedia, the term bug was popularized by Admiral Grace Hopper. One day, in her computer lab, the moth stopped everything from working, and that's what bugs are called bugs. Now, in actuality, according to Admiral Hopper herself, the use of bug goes all the way back to Thomas Edison, so it's not something that she came up with, but it is something that she popularized. The good thing is, making a mistake in coding is not the same as making a mistake in surgery. You don't want to panic. You have to expect that there's going to be bugs, but at the same time, you're going to expect that you're going to fix them. Head of math in my school calls this whole process of finding bugs and fixing them the joy of mistakes, which I think is a good way to look at it. Bugs get classified into a lot of different categories. The first type that you're going to run into is called a syntax error, and all that means is that you're not following the rules of the computer language. So it's like having an error in your formula somehow. If you're taking the APCSP AP exam, the term syntax error might show up. The syntax error is by far the most common type of mistake when you're starting out, and here are some examples. The first very common one is you have a command typo. So you can see when I'm working in a good environment, you'll see some hints. One of those is that red underline, which is telling me that something is wrong. And when I run the code, it doesn't work. It tells me the line number, which is line one, and it gives me the error name print is not defined. So hopefully that gives you a hint as to what is going on. The computer is basically saying it doesn't know what print is. Here is a second kind of common mistake, and that is a missing parenthesis. So again, you'll see a red underline. The red underline is actually in the line afterwards. So sometimes when you see a red underline, the mistake is actually in the line before. In this case, the error message is a little bit less helpful. It tells you it's in line two instead of in line one. But hopefully, again, you want to remember that sometimes the error will actually be in the line before. This third example I'm going to show is when the quotations don't match, meaning that you need to start with a double quotation and end with a double quotation, or start with a single and end with a single, but you can't mismatch them. So here again, you have a little bit of a hint. The parentheses is in a slightly different color, so that's error detection. And when you run the code, it gives you the syntax error, end of line when scanning string literal. So that may not make sense to you, but look, it's got this caret right there, and that caret will help you see where the error is. So the caret is right by the mismatched quotations. So hopefully that gives you a hint as to what to do. All right, so now I've got a couple of labs for you. You should pause the video and try these yourself. I'm sure you can get them. They're not that hard. Links are listed in the video, or you can get them from the description below. But in case you get stuck, I'm going to go over the solutions right now. All right, so I'm going to start the first one. I'll go to the Python labs, then select printing-debugging1. The instructions are on the upper left. The middle pane is what I'm starting with. It's a starter code, and when I run it, it doesn't work, and it gives me an error. Name print is not defined. Name print is not defined. Well, we know it's not print, but actually print, and when I run print, you see how the color changes? The color changes to white, and I run it, and it runs, and it prints out fix me one. And in the bottom left in the objectives, the color changes to purple, and it's good. The next one, it's going to be printing-debugging2. So again, the instructions are fix this print statement. And the center pane is going to be the print statement that I start out with. And here, when I run it, it gives me an error. Now in the error, you can see the caret. The caret pointing me to the where the error is. And the error looks like it's at the end of the line. And so the error looks like that I'm missing a parentheses. And when I add the parentheses and I run it again, in the bottom left, the check mark goes off. And the color changes to purple. And it's good. So that's the solutions to those two debugging exercises. So that's it, introduction to syntax errors and debugging. So I hope this was useful to you. If it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.